<laughs> Before you go, subscribe, like, and comment. Click the bell if you want notifications of new episodes. Okay, these are the conditions this shirt is made for. It's a hybrid, so I can brush up against this freeze without the water soaking in. And along the core areas, the heat and sweat is allowed to dissipate. There's just no avoiding getting wet or sweaty or warm here. Maximum amount of comfort, but in a terrain that just doesn't allow it. Now the pressure up here is 880 and I've gone up 1000 meters, that's roughly 3000. So I'm not really wearing too much on these trips. That's basically just for the weight. This is my camera equipment. So you don't get the cold water towards your body. So you're getting the hot sweat away. So what does this mean to your trajectory? Well, just have a look at these tables. We're in a bit of a hurry because I don't know how long the cameras will last. Okay, let's do the long range proficiency test. Thing. It's a bit low. We'll have a look at the ballistics later. As of today, I just dial here up the range. We can see here that my turret is calibrated for 10 degrees Celsius and 970 hectopascal air pressure. For my rifle, I have defined a significant weather change to be 30 hectopascal air pressure or 7 degrees Celsius. If you compare the calibration versus the actual weather, we see that we have the difference between 970, which is my calibration, and 1000, which is the actual weather, is 30. That means I have to add another 5 meters to my BDC. And if we look at the long range proficiency test, it mirrors that perfectly. Low hit. Now we'll try and demonstrate that ballistic principle on the bar at 582. So instead of dialing 582, we're going to dial 587. Okay, we are recording.
And again the same, placing the trigger finger and to the side, hooking, thumb in. Bring the rifle back, check natural point of aim. That's fine. And we're going to shoot. I think that was a pretty clear demonstration. That bar is six centimeters tall, and that was 600 meters. Same hole. 600 meters. I think I have the knack of the trigger cam now. So hopefully that was a very clear demonstration that ballistics is science. You can really trust principles and they truly are repeatable. It's a slight sideways movement. I'm falling out to the left. And we try and I just the butt a little shorter and we'll see what happens. Nothing. That was actually worse. The recoil had to jump back to my body. So firm contact with a proper length. Slightly go down on the cheek pressure and not pushing as hard on the right one. Basically too much rain between me. People ask about this square. It has strictly a military application. Obviously, I am larger than the square, which means you're going to use aim short and that will solve the problem. Shape a 90 degrees and then put the hand in. Now, these two fingers are hooking the rifle and pulling it back. Center.
subscribe to the THLR channel by clicking the left logo icon so you'll be shooting straighter than a drunk skunk before the sun shines over northern Norway.